In today's video, we'll be taking an unboxing and we'll be having the benchmarks of the RX 5060. Now, this is the MSI Inspire 2X RTX 5060. <laughs> Quite a bit of a mouthful there, but we got there. <laughs> and I paid £230 on Amazon UK for this. So I think it's a pretty decent deal. I mean, yes. Obviously, the 5060 is only 8 gigabytes uh, for VRAM, and that is the big limitation. But this is, um, you know, this is a 50 series card, ultimately, and it is only £230. So I think, really, that's quite a bargain, if you ask me. And, um, you know, the performance, actually, I think is pr pretty decent. Now, obviously, it is going to be limited by the VRAM, but it is it is going to be pretty decent performance in my opinion now the uh rx uh, 9060 xt 16 gigabyte that i've got it's probably not going to be quite as good as that but it's going to be pretty decent it's going to be pretty near that sort of performance and um you know this is still a pretty decent car i mean yes like i say the vram is the big limitation here and if it did have 12 gigabytes of uh, vram i think actually this would be an even better card because i think the potential is there to be a better card but it is a little bit bottlenecked by the uh, 8, 8 gigabytes of VRAM. But anyway, enough chatting. Uh, let's unbox this and then we'll obviously get those gaming benchmarks for you guys. So yeah, I think that's actually for £230, it's a pretty decent deal. This is the Inspire one as well from MSI, the 2X one. And that's actually a bit more of a premium one as well. So I was quite glad when this came up on, uh, I think it was just a Amazon deal or something. I've forgotten what it was, was now, but um, yeah, it looks pretty decent. So. Obviously, very plain packaging and what have you. You're never going to get anything special with budget graphics cards nowadays. So, a bit of a quick start guide and, um, you know, like leaflets and what have you. Uh, that's for installing the graphics card. But, again, nothing much is here. And there's nothing under there. No, no. So, again, not, nothing much in the box, but we kind of knew that. But here's the actual card, guys. And it's pretty small, but it looks pretty decent, actually, I think. And so here it is. Let's, uh, before we go any further, let's just take off all that extra wrapping that it's got on here and then we'll uh, look at it a bit further. So yeah, I think we actually have managed to actually get off the wrapping there. <laughs> Don't know why they put so much uh, of, of that sort of packaging stuff on, on these cars now, but it's protective stuff. So I, I suppose it's good, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, I think it's a decent looking car. What do you, what do you guys think? Um, it is kind of a little bit sort of like, um silvery grayish sort of color i don't know if it's going to pick up on the camera very well unfortunately um and it does have a nice back plate there with obviously like this pass through thing so that's really nice and then coming across here to the actual front of the card we do have um three display ports here and obviously the one hdmi maybe a little bit disappointed that hasn't got um two hdmis with the um two display port but it, it, that is what it is and i think most people are using display ports nowadays with modern um with modern mo with modern monitors anyway so i think that's fine you know and four outs is obviously more more than more than good enough so there's not a problem there and they do come like sort of shielded here as you can see with the, with the little sort of um you know cover if you will for the actual port and then it does have a cover for the actual pcie slot itself let's take that off and as you can see there, um, like I say, quite a nice, decent looking car here. Very small, actually. Uh, what, what, what other dimensions here? So I've, I've actually just got my tape measure here. So uh, let's just have a quick uh, look and see how long this is. Yeah, so only about 20 centimetres, 21 centimetres maybe. So yeah, only 21 centimetres there. I mean, this is actually a really small card. And for a dual fan, I think that's a really nice sort of little little size, actually. And, you, again you're not going to probably see the color so well here on the camera i think the light's a little bit kind of glaring a little bit on on the card unfortunately hopefully maybe you can see that a little bit better but it's kind of like a silvery sort of uh gray sort of color because so as, as i said this was the uh uh rtx 5060 8 gigabyte inspire 2x oc version and just comes with that eight pin um adapter there so pretty much any power supply um from like I think it's about 550 upwards is going to be fine for this card. 
Although you could probably get away with a 500 watt card, uh, 500 watt power, power supply quite comfortably, I think. Um, but I think I, I think it's from 550. But yeah, hopefully you have kind of got a good enough view of that card now. Um, I, I think for 230 pounds, we've certainly got a bit of a bargain here. I mean, I do think. Uh, this is still a playable uh, graphics card, even in today's world. And um, we will try some 1440p gaming and see what it can do. So I think really we've talked for long enough, haven't we, guys? So let's roll those benchmarks. So as we could see there, the RTX 5060 is doing a pretty decent job. I mean, yes, 1440p is going to really push that uh, 5060 in terms of that VRAM limit that we have, the only 8 gigabytes. So, yeah, going to be difficult, guys. It's going to be difficult to actually, you know, especially for newer releases. And obviously, I haven't tested all the newer, newer releases, obviously. This is uh, just a, a, a sort of sample of... A, a few slightly older games obviously but um you know things like borderlands 4 and uh battlefield 6 and what have you they're going to struggle a little bit more and um and yeah in terms of 1440p high 60 fps average uh you might be struggling there i think with with with, with those games as well but you know with, with these four games here we've just about got to 60 fps uh or more average at 10 uh, at 1440p high and even at 1440p medium we've got some decent results plus don't forget as well dlss was actually uh disabled here as well so if you are struggling a bit you can obviously go to dlss and uh just sort of play around the settings and what have you you might even have to go to 1440p medium on some games and then just play around with that dlss sort of support in terms of maybe going to performance or balance mode but yeah, I do think for a £230 graphics card, we are getting a lot of value here. And okay, yes, maybe future proof isn't there because of the uh, limit of the VRAM. But overall, I do think for £230, you are getting a lot of graphics card here. And, you know, if you really think about it, if you really want to go into that 16 gigabyte category, you're probably going to have to spend at least £100 more uh, to really get into that sort of like, you know, RX 9060 XT territory and... Obviously, even more money, again, if you want to go into the 5060 Ti 16GB territory, that's probably more like £400. So, I think for the for the money, this is actually a very, very good graphics card. And I certainly would say it, it's worth a buy. And certainly, if you're flipping PCs, I do think the 5060 is an absolutely great card for that. Because, you know, it's a really good performer. And obviously, it's pretty cheap as well. Well, in terms of graphics cards nowadays, it's pretty cheap anyway. So overall, I do actually think the 5060 is actually pretty decent, personally. And obviously, you've got to uh, navigate that uh, VRAM limit, as we as I've been saying so many times now. But um, overall, I do, I do think it's a pretty decent card. Now, I will probably, in the next few weeks or so, try and get a... Um, uh, a PC build done because I've got a PC actually just behind me there which is the Ryzen 5 5600 and then I'll use my um, 5060 RTX 5060 graphics card that we got today well that we looked at today sorry I say I mean I got the car quite a bit ago but yeah <laughs> anyway um, but yeah I think that, that should be a pretty decent build to put together and I'll probably put it in that uh, course uh, in that um, uh, caller master case that I've, I've got um, as well I think it's the TD 300 or something um so yeah I, I i think that should be a pretty decent but again i don't know exactly in terms of the 
exact times that that's going to come out probably in the next few weeks or so but it depends how i go and then we'll have the christmas message uh video right at the end there's not going to be too many videos now from now to the end of the year unfortunately um kind of winding down with the channel and what have you at the moment um, in terms of end of year so there isn't going to be a lot of content now unfortunately guys but obviously please subscribe so you can see my future videos when they are released and obviously leave me a like for the algorithm and also comment on what you think about the 5060 and would you actually buy it or not or would you use it for a flip pc and you know what have you and just let me know any other comments on what have you so as always guys i'll see you in the next one bye guys